What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. It's Katya. It's been so long since my last video, and I really hope you missed our long classes. In today's long English bit, I want to talk about series and movies that I've watched since last September. I think watching movies and series can help you improve your English on so many different levels and I do it on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I want to talk about five mini-series that I really liked. I enjoy watching mini-series because you can watch them in a couple of days and you don't need to invest a lot of time. So the first mini-series that I watched was last September when I came back from Paris. So this series is Keep Breathing and it consists of six episodes. It's about a girl who suffers a helicopter accident and finds herself in the middle of nowhere. She has no other choice but to fight really hard if she wants to make it out alive. Throughout the movie, we can also see some flashbacks to her former life. It's very uplifting because it proves that you need to keep going Take one step at a time and never give up. No matter how hopeless the situation may seem, there is always a chance as long as you keep trying. And now let's move on to the second mini-series on my list from scratch. It's a heartbreaking true love story that is set in Italy and the United States. It's about a young couple who is going through a really tough situation, but they stick together through thick and thin. The series teaches great and important values like loyalty, resilience, unconditional love, and shows the importance of family. There is also good food as the main character, Lino, is an Italian chef. We can also enjoy beautiful scenery. We travel to Florence, LA, and Sicily. All in all, it's an incredibly touching and moving series, and I cried my eyes out when watching it. It's equally sad and beautiful. And now let's move on to something less dramatic, but I must say there is also some drama, but I think it's more fun and also tasty. This miniseries is cooked by a very famous Spanish director, Isabel Coixet. It's a mix of first dates, food, and traveling. I think it's a perfect combo. The girl is played by a Spanish actress, Laia Costa. I think she's amazing. And I also liked the dialogues. I think they are very relatable. And on top of that, we can see what the characters are thinking about. And I think it adds a touch of humor. And there are many phrases that get stuck in your head. I remember one, it was about how short life is and we shouldn't waste time on silly arguments. So the series is beautiful, fun, modern, relatable, and delicious. It's in Spanish, but you can watch it with English subtitles. And now let's move on to my next recommendation, which is The White Lotus. It's a super famous TV show that received many awards. It has two seasons for now. The first one is set in Hawaii, and The White Lotus is a very exclusive hotel chain. And the guests who stay in this hotel are filthy rich. And when watching this series, you have a feeling of being on vacation, which is very nice. At the beginning of the first episode, we see a guy who is making small talk with another couple at the airport. And we find out that someone died in one hotel and this guy is flying back home from his honeymoon but we don't see his wife next to him and then we see what happened seven days earlier and then the first episode introduces us to many different guests who are very eccentric spoiled selfish and entitled on top of that they are completely out of touch with reality. Although it's true that there is one outsider per season that brings a bit of normalcy. Each episode covers one day 
of this high-end vacation. This TV show reminded me of Agatha Christie books. In this case, instead of finding out who the murderer is, we know that someone is gonna die and there are so many candidates. The second season is set in Sicily. The scenery is beautiful, the place is stunning, and there are many new characters. There are only two that we know from the first season. A warning, give it some time, because the first episodes may seem a bit slow, but then the series takes off and it's completely worth watching. And the last mini-series that I'd like to recommend is called Fidelity. It's set in Italy and it's about a young married couple who seem very happy at first sight. But both of them start feeling attracted to another person at the same time. And they have to make a very difficult decision whether they stick to their wedding vows or fall into temptation. I must say I was surprised by the ending. And now I'd like to recommend three movies. The first one is Fall. I saw it back in October on my birthday. My mom and I went to the cinema to watch it. And this movie is in line with the miniseries I spoke about before, Key Breathing. In this case, there are two female friends who are in a life and death situation. They are trapped at the top of a very high radio tower and they have to be really creative and imaginative and think outside the box in order to survive. And to make things worse, some secrets come to light and they might put in danger their friendship. I remember that back then I was going through tough times and this movie encouraged me and made me see that if people don't give up, and fight so hard, I can do the same. And unlike those girls, I have many more resources at my fingertips. In a nutshell, I think this movie is very inspiring and it gives you strength when you have to overcome some serious difficulties. The second movie on my list is After Sun. It's a British independent movie. At first sight, it may seem ordinary and you might think that not much is going on but I can guarantee that there is so much more beneath the surface. This movie is about a father-daughter vacation in Turkey. Through everyday moments and daily situations, we get to know the father and his struggles. It's about life with its ups and downs, about parenthood and different stages of life, and how your perception of life changes with the passage of time. Paul Mesko, who plays the father, has been nominated for an Oscar and his performance in this movie is just perfect. To cut a long story short, it's a beautiful story that will touch your heart and soul. And it's one of those movies that you can't stop thinking about and that lingers in your memory. And I like to watch it once again because many moments go unnoticed the first time you see it. And last but not least, Victoria. This movie blew my mind because it's so different from what I'd seen before. It's set in Berlin and it's about one Spanish girl, Victoria, who moves to this German city and starts working as a waitress. She feels lonely because she doesn't speak German and she doesn't have many friends. So one night she goes out alone and meets four German guys. So basically, this movie is about how just one night can change you for good. What impressed me most about this movie is that it was shot in just one take. And it's 2 hours 15 minutes long and without a cut. Plus, there is a lot of action, many locations and so much going on. I think you have to be an amazing actor because as far as I know, they didn't have to learn lines and they were asked to improvise. And I think it's not an easy thing to do whatsoever. The Spanish actress who plays Victoria in this movie is Laia Costa, and she's the same actress who stars the miniseries Foodie Love. I think she's an amazing actress. She just won a Goya, and I think she is very natural and plausible. This movie received so many awards and I do think it's such an original and different story and congrats on 
pulling off this amazing challenge. I think the actors and the director and the cameraman are just awesome. Don't miss it, because it's just amazing. And to finish, I'd like to recommend my next guest needs no interaction with David Letterman interviewing Zelensky. If you want to get to know my home country better, Ukraine, its brave people and its president, Volodymyr Zelensky, who was chosen the person of 2022, don't miss this insightful interview. David Letterman traveled to the capital of Ukraine, Kiev, last October to interview Zelensky and to talk about our fight for freedom and for our European future. I think it's a very interesting and insightful interview and I highly respect and admire Zelensky. I think he is working really hard in order to bring our victory closer. Don't miss it. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's English bit and you'll enjoy even more all these super interesting mini-series and movies. And if you liked today's video, please don't forget to like it and to subscribe to English Bits. Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day and see you next week. Ciao for now!